We are finally doing a much needed update on the house. It's been well over a month and we've had some hangups that I was uh, unfortunately thinking that we were going to have and we did. Let's go take a look and we can go chat about it. So I realized that we've made mention of this downstairs primer but haven't really shown it off in all its glory. So I want to give you guys a peek of what we have down here and just how cool it is to have a separate living space with a private yard and a view of the water even from the lower level. So yeah, we got the same style, the sink for down here. It's going to be much easier for us to measure and also much cheaper for these cabinets down here because the depth of the countertops is actually shorter. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No flashlight needed. All right, so you notice the subway tile. The caulking isn't complete. The tile is not complete. Should we want to change anything, which this is exactly how it's gonna remain, we could, because it's not completely set yet. I have grown to appreciate professionals who do tile work so much because the level of detail that these professionals have to have is, is a lot. They lay all the tile except the last row, so they have to measure almost perfectly how they're all gonna be set. I'm super happy with that. I think it's gonna look great. The tile that you see here is not permanent. These are um, four inch black hexagon tile, which I think are really cool. And I got it just a couple sheets of white so that I could kind of scatter them randomly and maybe do a little pattern or something not really traditional, but just do more of whatever I feel like. So this isn't, the white is not where it's gonna stay. We're gonna play around with it a little bit. One of the two hangups that we've had are these damn wall mounts. These guys are where the valves are going to hang into or going to go into the sink and so we have to make sure that the height of these is exactly where it needs to be before we finish the drywall because we don't have the sink we we don't want to finalize this until we have everything in place um, as well as the countertops so uh, we're holding off on that and that has been one of our biggest uh, Holdbacks. All the hardwood floors have been laid, so you'll notice that they're now extended into the kitchen, but that portions of the floors have, have a discoloring because they've sanded down some of it. Now, when they refinish them, we'll, we'll sand down all of them and then pick a stain, and I'm gonna do a really light stain uh, that's gonna be consistent throughout the bedrooms and the living spaces. It's gonna look fabulous. So this is a cast iron apron front sink. So apron front meaning that it comes out that you can see the front of the sink, uh, which I didn't realize was a huge pain in the butt for the contractors. But cast iron sometimes, uh, because it's the way that it's formed can have oddities. It's not like it's perfectly symmetrical. That's obviously why we're getting the countertops fabricated so everything fits well, so it can kind of adjust for any of the quirkiness. And um, it's going to look great. The reason I got the black um, was because the plumbing fixtures are gold. The plumbing fixtures are gold in both the bathroom and the kitchen. The knob poles in the kitchen are all gold. And so I thought that it, it wasn't my favorite look for it, the white and the gold, that it would be really different and cool to do the black and gold. So that's why it shows the apron front black sink and they're only kind of custom made. So we waited for this for over two and a half months, which is really the biggest uh, hang up for completion. So now that we've got it in, moving forward and we can finally schedule the floors to be complete. All the boxes. <laughs> we're gonna get all the trash out of here. I don't know how the heck it accumulates so quickly, but we're gonna install a couple of the appliances. That's where all of the boxes are. They're all the appliances. We are going to install the refrigerator and the stove once the hardwood floors have been complete. So one of the last items once, the, once we've got this all taken care of, we will finalize all of the electric which means that I have to go get light fixtures for some of the bedrooms, any pendant lightings. There's a couple pendants in the bathrooms. So a giant tree came down in my backyard when we had the windstorm, hence the broken fence that I haven't fixed yet. Some gutter repair, but it did some serious damage. Fortunately, it didn't hit the house, so there wasn't too much damage. I'm very fortunate, and I think that it's gonna be relatively easy for us to just repair these two six-foot uh, sections of fence. So next time, you'll be seeing a lot of progress, I think. Uh, hardwood floors refinished, the countertops, if they aren't already in, they'll be at least scheduled, and my hopes is that we're gonna be done in about a month, but that will be determined by how quickly the countertops can be installed. So until next time.